Our tens of millions of voters in India will cast their ballots in coming weeks as five states hold elections. Many are seeing the polls as a referendum of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's popularity. Ershan Gaut reports. Election season is again underway in India, where five states are gearing up for state assembly elections. It's a test of popularity for the national parties. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is governing Bharatiya Janata Party and its main opponent, the Indian National Congress. The results here could determine their chances in the national election in two years' time. These polls also decide the composition of the upper house of India's parliament, with the majority there often decisive in passing legislation. The five states holding elections are Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Manipur and Goa. 300 million people will elect 690 local representatives. Almost two-thirds of them are in Uttar Pradesh, a key battleground state. With a population that rivals the world's top five most populous countries, this state could set the winning party up for a triumph at the general elections in 2024. Currently, Uttar Pradesh is governed by the BJP. And since 2017, the monk-turned-politician Yogi Adityanath has been serving as chief minister, a role that puts him in charge of the state government. The 49-year-old has quickly emerged as a polarizing figure. He is known for delivering fiery speeches Bharat Mata ki. that make him popular among the BJP's Hindu nationalist voter base. Recently, he said these elections pit 80% of voters against the remaining 20%, a ratio which observers noted corresponds to the proportion of the majority Hindus and minorities in the state. Critics say he's fanning the flames of sectarianism. His opponents allege minorities in the state have been oppressed under his rule, calling him a threat to the country's secular fabric. Denying these allegations, his party focus instead on what they tout as their tough-on-crime stance and a development-focused agenda, which they believe will win Mr. Radhityanath a second term. So the infrastructure is in place, law and order is in control. Now we want to bring a lot of investment into the Uttar Pradesh. What our roadmap is that India is first for a strong economic growth. Uttar Pradesh can catalyze and be the channel of growth for India. Much as it may doubt its achievement, experts believe the BJP could face backlash from farming communities which make up the largest voting bloc in the country. That anger is especially stark in Punjab, the only one of the five states holding elections where the state assembly is controlled by the opposition. Authorities repealed three controversial farming laws after a year-long protest by farmers who feared they would threaten their incomes and expose them to unfair competition. But dissatisfaction remains and it is still unclear if the rising cost of farming and the resulting agrarian distress could hurt Prime Minister Narendra Modi's party in these elections. Our economic issues are very important. Is the electorate saying this in one voice? We don't know yet. Or are the claims of mega development and religion together, you know, making the case for the BJP? We don't know yet. There is also the talk of religion plus caste. I find, however, people are talking of issues. BJP's main opposition, the Congress Party, which governs in Punjab, is eyeing political revival by offering itself as the more liberal, progressive alternative. But it's a shadow of its former glory holding power in three out of 29 provinces. Outside of the two more well-known parties, analysts say regional parties could cause a massive upheaval. Almost all of them are promising social security by providing free electricity and water to most people. And some are hoping to cash in on the caste-based social structure to win these elections. Analysts say that if these parties get a considerable vote share, that would signal the rise of a more united opposition front at the national level. Recent surveys indicate that Prime Minister Narendra Modi is still the most popular leader in the country. But his party's chances may be diminished in these elections as these different regional parties chip away at his voter base in different states. Allegations of poor COVID-19 pandemic management are also likely to hurt Mr. Modi. But the party hopes that ramping up vaccinations could be the shot in the arm needed, both for the party's chances and also for the greater interest of conducting these pandemic-era elections safely. Ishan Garg, CNA, New Delhi.